Hello everyone. So in this class, we are going to talk about implementation of list data type using linked list. So last class we talked about how we can implement list data type using array. Okay, and we saw the advantages and disadvantages of implementation of list data type. All right, using dynamic array. So this class we are going to talk about how we can implement list data type using linked list. So last class we talked about linked list. A linked list is a data structure where a linked list is a collection of nodes where one node will point to the next node. All right. And those nodes are not necessarily contiguous in the memory. Each node will be created or each node will be initialized with a separate new call means each node will be initialized dynamically using the new call. Okay. So, um, each node will have at least two elements. All right. So one is to store the value or the data and another is to store the address of the next node. All right. So these are all different node. These are the unit, each unit of linked list. All right. So when one node will point to the next node and this node will point to the next node, that's how it will form a list. All right. So the first node of the linked list will be pointed by the head pointer. All right. And the last node will point to the null pointer. All right. So that's how we'll know which node is the first node and which node is the last node. And all information we are going to have about linked list only the address of the first node. Okay. Address of the first node. By using the address of the first node, we can access any node from the linked list. All right. So uh, before we jump to the implementation of uh, list using linked list, we want to just give you the idea about uh, the difference between linked list and array. So, so array has an advantage that is using the array, we can directly select an element, okay? Directly access any element from the array. We know that array is a contiguous memory allocation. All right, so when we have an array like this, all right, so um, this variable A will point to the address of the first index variable, all right, and the compiler, compiler can access actually from this address, compiler can access any of this element from this array directly, and that, that's just an order of one runtime. All right, that is a constant runtime. That is the order of one runtime. All right, now array doesn't need any pointer. We talked about that in a linked list, we need an excess uh, element. We need an uh, additional element, which is a pointer. That pointer will, we are going to use to point to the next node, but array doesn't need anything like that. So there is no memory need for storing the pointers. Now, what are the disadvantages? The disadvantages and the main disadvantages is that it's a fixed size, all right? So we declare an array uh, like with maximum size 50, that means uh, our memory is going to allocate, uh, memory is going to allocate memory space for 50 variables, all right? So, and uh, if we don't need that many amount of variables, okay, we cannot just grow or shrink dynamically uh, the array. All right, let's say I don't, uh, let's say right now I have uh, 60 variables I want to store, but uh, after some time I may not need that many variables, okay? But dynamically I cannot delete this memory space, okay? I have to always allocate the memory space for the whole array. So we saw the operation using the array means if we want to add a certain element, if we want to add a certain element at a given index, Okay, then in that case, we have to shift elements uh, to insert an element to the middle of the array. Insertion in the array at the end of the array, I mean, insertion of an element at the end of the array is straightforward. But if we want to insert an element in the middle of the array, it's actually not uh, that straightforward. We have to shift all the elements. All right, we have to shift all the elements to insert an element to the middle of the array. 
all right and there are always this memory wasted due to the unused element but but that is not the case with linked list a linked list is a dynamic size all right for example when we um, when we are going to create a list using a linked list so uh, what actually we are going to do we are going to create a first empty list in in that empty list uh, where we can have just only one node okay then you need one element okay you want to insert one element just create another node add it with that all right and you need another element create another element add with the add add at the next of the add at the end of the list okay so always the last element of the list will point to the null pointer okay now whenever you need to insert a new element you are going to dynamically create you can dynamically create that variable you can dynamically initialize that variable using new operator all right and then you are going to insert that you are going to insert that at the end of the linked list or you can also insert that at any point in the linked list even if you don't need any elements anymore all right for example you want to delete an element from your linked list you can just delete that okay so let's see i want to delete that you can delete that and that's everything actually we are going to see in this implementation all right all you have to do we have to just take care of the so all we have to do we have to just take care of the pointer how one, one node will point to the next node all right so the size of the uh, the size of the value that we need it can exactly match the number of elements in the linked list so you have currently four values you can have only these uh, memory for four node okay you don't have to reserve any additional memory for linked list all right that's the biggest advantage of linked list over array so the disadvantage of linked list we cannot directly select any element okay so given an index or given an position you cannot just directly access an element from the linked list now from array you can actually access the fourth element using a tree all right but from linked list if you want to know what uh, is the value of our third item or fourth item uh, from the linked list okay we can we can't actually find them directly what all we need all we have information from the linked list is the address of the first node pointer okay so i mean the address of the first node all right all we have is the address of the first node we have to start from the first node and we have to traverse the node until we find the element that we are looking for okay and we need some extra memory for pointer okay for pointer, we need some extra memory means, uh, we know like here we are storing for each node, we are storing the value and the pointer, okay? So um, that's the thing means for pointer also, we have to store extra memory, okay? So in general, how we decide what actually we're going to use or the linked list or array. So in general, we are going to use linked list if the number of elements that will be stored cannot be predicted at compile time. All right. So um, right now, let's see you are designing a product website. Okay. Right now you have six products, but it can actually vary. You can have like 100 products or you can have also like um, 200 products or it can be like 100K. Okay, if you cannot decide the number of elements, the number of values at compile time, in that case, it's uh, a better choice to use the linked list. Okay, so if we may have to use, if we may have to insert or delete an element from the middle of the array. Okay, I mean from the middle of the list, I should say from the middle of the list. Okay. So you have a list of products, okay? You have a list of value. If we frequently want, if we frequently need to insert an element in the middle of the array, or if we frequently have to delete some elements from the middle of the array, or I mean, if the, I mean, the total 
values are not actually constant means like very frequently we have to insert or very frequently we have to delete some delete some values from the array okay in that case it's a better choice to use the linked list all right so um and in the linked list the random access of the value is uh, actually expensive than array all right because if you want to randomly access a value all right it's it's easier in an array because it only takes a constant runtime. All right. But in linked list, it's not, it's not actually that efficient. It, uh, you have to actually start from the start of the list. All right. You have to traverse and then you can access an element. All right. Then you can access an element, but always you have to start from the beginning of the list. Okay. Because all you have is the address of the first node, all right? So random access is expensive in linked list, but if you have something like, if you have an application where you don't need to do random access very frequently, you can choose linked list over array, okay? But if it's the case that you have to uh, select a item randomly uh, very frequently, okay? Like you have to select fifth item, you have to know what is the sixth item or uh, the last item, okay? Uh, for that also, it's better to use array, okay? Because uh, random accessing an element from array is efficient, okay? It's only order of one runtime. All right, so let's talk about um, implementation of class node. We briefly talked about in the class, but uh, I want to show you the implementation of class node. Now, this particular linked list is known, known as singly linked list, okay? And here we are showing the implementation of class node for singly linked list. Why this is known as singly linked list? Because in each node, we have, um, we are going to store value or data and we have only one pointer. Okay, we have only one pointer and that pointer is going to point to the next node. So each node will point to only one node. All right, only one node. So that's why it is known as a singly linked list. All right, and each node will point to only the next node. All right. Like that. So here you can see that what do I need in this class node, all right? We need to store the data and we have to have a variable that is going to point to the next node, all right? So uh, you can see our member variable data. Now the data type for data actually depends on what type of linked list you are going to, what type of list you are going to have, all right? So here we are going to implement only a list that is going to be a list of integer variable. So here this data uh, we are having, for this node we are having the data with integer data type, all right? All right, so the name of our class is node. The name of our data type is node. So this pointer is going to point to a variable of the same data type, all right? So this pointer is going to point a another node, all right? So this is going to point to a variable with same data type, so that's why this pointer will have the type node pointer next, okay? Means now next is a pointer which can point to a, another node variable, all right? So you can see here I have, I'm having three different constructor. So the first one is the default one. So if I initialize a node using the default one, it is going to create a node, okay, with value zero and the pointer will point to a null pointer, all right? So then uh, second pointer will uh, initialize the node with a given value, all right? And next will be null. So the value will be value, okay? This value and the pointer will be null. I mean, the next pointer will be null. So the third, um, the third constructor, we are initializing the node using value and the pointer. For example, let's see you already have a pointer. Okay, you already, uh, I'm sorry, you already have a node. All right, so let's say that their value is 100. 
and you already have a node and some other node that this node is pointing okay now using this constructor you can initialize a node with a given value all right and that is going to point to a given node all right so this uh, constructor is taking the value and the address of another node all right so the accessor function we have two variable so uh, uh, we are going to write two accessor function that will return the data and that will return the uh, that will return the address of the next node so mutator function that is going to that is going to uh, modify the value of the data all right and that that can actually modify the address of the next node and print function just uh, print function we cannot actually we don't need to print the uh, address of the next node what we are going to be using the print function we are going to only print the value of the data all right now let's see the implementation of list okay so this is only the class definition for each different node now list means it's a collection of node every node is going to point to the next node all right now let's see the implementation means the class definition of singly linked list using the definition of node so um for class list all right for class list what do we need so all we need is the pointer of the first node okay each linked list will look like this each linked list will look like this all right collection of node every node will point to the next node and all we are going to have as a list all we need is the address of the first node so the only member variable we are going to need okay a pointer and uh, actually traditionally we say the address of the first node will be always head or head pointer okay that's the name we use for list let's say i mean linked list all right and the data type will be node type pointer head pointer okay means it's a pointer that will point to a node variable all right so it is just a pointer all right so it is just a pointer so we are initializing a pointer head pointer and that will point to a node variable all right all right now uh, let's see how we are going to define the constructor so when we initialize a list what happens let's say we want to initialize a list like this list l okay so list L, we are going to initialize list L like that. Okay. So we are initializing a new list variable. Okay. We are initializing a new list. So when we declare a or initialize a new list, that is going to create just an empty list. All right. So this initialization is going to so this initialization is, initialization is going to create a new node, okay? All right, and our head pointer is going to point to the null. So what a new list is going to look like? So this is going to initialize a new node, head pointer will initialize a new node, okay? And the next pointer will point to null. And this is our head pointer. So head pointer is pointing to a new node and this is pointing to null. And this will be the initialization of our list object, okay? And our list object initialization, you can see that we, we are going to have only one node, okay? But having one node means actually it's an empty list. And completely empty list will have one node, okay? One node, but this will not be actually, we are not going to store the values of the list here. It will be used just to store just just to hold the rest of the list okay so our initial i mean the empty list will hold only one node okay so that's what the list initialization will do all right now let's see just a uh, how a list will look like all right so let's see you have a list okay and list has some values 
all right it's not an empty list the list has some values and the values are 10 5 7 9 how the whole list will look like so an empty list means just a one node pointed by the head pointer okay but a list of 10 5 7 9 will look like this so head pointer is pointing to a node all right but that will not be actually part of the list so the first value 10 we are going to store into a second node of the list so the second node node will contain 10 okay the third node will contain the value 5 the fourth node will contain the value 7 and this node so it's the fifth node of this list will contain the fourth value okay that means when we are going to also read the list or uh, we want to know what are all the elements in the list we are going to start reading from the second node okay we're going to start from reading from this node so this is just an handler we can think about that the first node is just an handler that will just hold okay that will just hold the rest of the list all right all right so this is a list initialization we saw the initialization now in the next uh, video we're going to talk about uh, all other operation okay means all other operation means how we can insert an element in a linked list insert at a given index, deletion, and everything, okay?